Hi, I'm Mike. And today we take a look at something very attractive, magnets, and how they help us around the ranch as we continue recycling wood from the old corrals and rebuilding our pens on our Wyoming life. <laughs> Hi there, welcome back and thanks for joining us once again as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Did you know that 60% of the people that watch our videos don't subscribe? Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, get notified when new videos come out and make sure that you don't miss a thing. This is Goliath and over there is Mr. Peanut. Wow. Peanut. Mr. Peanut's probably copyrighted. These guys are enjoying their new home that I got a chance to show you yesterday how we put it together. And no problem so far. They've been pretty quiet and uh, just kind of hanging out and doing their thing. Hey, bud. But for us, we have to move on to the next big project. And that's actually a project that we started, well, just a couple days ago. By the way, everybody that's worried about this propane tank here, being in here with the calves, uh, number one, it's turned off. We don't need heat in the shop this time of year. Number two, the calves are not allowed to play with lighters. So we're safe there. All right, we're gonna go take a look at our newest project, one that we've been working on for the last few days, and that is uh, redoing a bunch of the old corrals and the old holding pens before you get to the corrals. Here recently, we tore down all of our corrals to make way for the new AeroQuip system, but now we're gonna take all that old wood and reuse it uh, where it really desperately was needed. You notice that? I made it all the way through the barn there. No pigs. Good pigs. Okay, so out here is where we've been working. And a uh, couple days ago, we tore down all the fence and we're gonna actually recycle that old stuff into a stage that we're gonna use at Ranch Roundup over Labor Day weekend where we invite 250 guests to come here to the ranch and hang out for the weekend. But here is what we're left with. Basically just posts. Uh, we've stripped it all the way down to the posts and we're gonna be replacing a rail fence along all these posts here. Kind of an interesting thing about these posts is the fact that these posts are actually split. And I'm guessing that somewhere along the line the uh, ranch needed to save some money and regular round posts were split in half and used as posts, making them obviously go twice as far. And I got a sliver in my finger. Just a little one. So our goal is to get uh, all of these boards here up onto this fence, which really is not that hard. I mean, really all we need is a level, some screws that we're actually gonna recycle as well uh, from the old corrals. But first, I wanted to get in here and clean up a little bit. And a bunch of you guys suggested uh, using a rolling magnet, which you see a lot of roofers use when they're picking up roofing nails uh, after they work on putting your new shingles up or something like that. I wanted to show you guys my version of the rolling magnet. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to build a magnet that actually mounts to a vehicle and that you're able to drive over an area and pick up any loose metal that might have might be on the ground. This will actually help you from getting, uh, will prevent you from getting flat tires, hopefully. And if you put it in the front of the vehicle, obviously it's gonna pick up stuff that uh, before it actually gets to the tires. This isn't something you can leave on a gator or on a four wheeler all the time, but it is definitely something that uh, you'll be surprised after you drive around for a little bit and see how much stuff this will pick up around your farm, your ranch, or sometimes even your backyard. The basis of these uh, magnets are actually floor sweepers that I picked up at uh, office, or not office, uh, that I picked up at Harbor Freight. These things um, are made to go with wheels and they have a handle and you're able to push them around. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna deconstruct them a little bit and actually build them so that we can suspend them underneath a vehicle. The cool thing about the way that these things work is that when you've got it sitting like this, let me find something that's made out of metal here. Let me just grab a washer. Got a washer here. 
So when it's sitting like this and you drive over the top of it, it's just gonna pick up that washer. Then when you wanna release what you picked up, all you have to do is pull this handle and it's gonna fall right out and onto the ground. I've got two of these because the gator is about 60 inches wide. So these are 30 inch uh, floor sweeping magnets, like I said, from Harbor Freight. Uh, they run about 30 bucks a piece. What I'm gonna do is actually put these two together in order to form one 60 inch magnet that'll hopefully pick everything up in front of the gator. So to, in order to do that, um, we're actually gonna remove the bracket here, uh, which is for the handle to attach to. So as I look in there, I don't think I'm gonna be able to remove these brackets, but that's not really that big of a deal. I don't think it's gonna be a deal breaker. Um, what we will do is remove that end cap and leave this end cap off so that we can attach these two basically end to end, which will, that'll make this a lot easier to, uh, to make it work. So I'll show you how we'll do that. So we already have this end off. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this end. we're gonna be able to go end to end and we can leave a little bit of a gap in between them. I think that'll be totally fine. And uh, yeah, so all we have to do is start pulling this apart. So now we have one long magnet. Okay, I left the brackets on, uh, mostly because they're a pain in the butt to take off, but also if I ever do want to turn it back into a rolling magnet, it's pretty simple to do. All right, now what we're gonna do is just take some safety chain and we're gonna attach it to where the axles would go on each end. With the safety chain on, on all we have to do is just go ahead and get a wash, get a nut on there. just run it down a ways. And with all that done, we can take a look at attaching it to a vehicle. So we don't need it to hang too much lower than just an inch or so off the ground. So, But we also don't want it to drag on the ground, right? So we're gonna have to pick this up just a little bit more. It does have a little bit of flex here in the middle where that thing, where it attaches. I don't know if I like that. We might redo this and make it a little bit tighter so it holds a little bit better. So one of the greatest things about doing stuff like this is that you can always um, work out the kinks as you go. So we're gonna redo this really quick. I'm gonna shorten this up make this whole thing a little bit tighter. So in what may be just a little bit of irony, I dropped one of those little tiny screws. So hold on one second. This is like the little brother version, but we can try to find that little tiny screw somewhere around here. Is 
there it is. Just like that. And the reason that we put the bolt on or the nut on there is so that when we twist off the nut, it reforms the thread. Now, we're back to this. We're gonna insert this into here. Go through. Go washer, lock washer. And we're gonna put a nylon nut on it so it has a little bit more holding power. Okay, that ain't moving now. So now we should get a lot less flex. As we get this up and on here. So again, we're looking for that inch or so. I honestly don't know how, how much we have to have or how high this thing really needs to be off the ground for it to work, but I'd say an inch is pretty pretty respectable. I mean, that's that's going to pick up pretty much anything you drive over. The problem is it's going to drag into rocks. So let's bring it up a little bit higher. Kind of want to do a test run here. So I'm just going to grab some random metal things and see if that's set too high. So with this stuff underneath here, now we can tell it's set a little bit too high, so let's bring it down. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. We're gonna give it a try and uh, see how she works. Just to see how this thing works, I'm just going to give it a little, little trip around the yard here. and I can hear it dragging back there, which means I need to raise it up just a little bit. But uh, we'll give it a little trip around the yard here and just see how much stuff we pick up. Okay, like I said, a pretty quick trip around the yard. And it is riding a little bit low. Um, you can hear it dragging over stuff, but let's take a look and see what we managed to pick up. So, got some old nails, it looks like. Washer, a bunch of wire. So in just, just a couple minutes of just driving around, right there's what we got. This brings another thought to mind, is that maybe I could just put the wheels on it and just let it ride on the wheels with the chain. Um, I think this is probably doable, so let's spin it back over. With that up and running, we can take it out and drive it through the, the corral 
<coughs> where we just removed that fence and see how it works. pass let's take a look and see what we picked up <clears throat> nails screws that's not too bad for just one pass Keep driving around a little bit and see what else we can find. So I think that's a tool on the ranch that through some more modifications and a little bit more work, that can actually really come in handy. I think it's gonna take a little bit more work to get it to where it's gonna work just right, but Proof of concept, I mean, makes sense to me and uh, seems to do the job. But the job at hand today is actually building fence and screwing around with magnets is not gonna get it done. And like any rancher will tell you, one of the worst things you can have is a down fence. You never know when you might have to bring an animal in or do something and obviously having this section open would cause huge problems if we had to get a sick cow in or something like that that we had to get into the corrals. Uh, this would cause a problem. So we're gonna get this fixed up and uh, get it replaced. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Enough fence done so that if I do have to bring something in, yeah, I'm able to do it. And we used all recycled wood. I might put a couple more, I might put another rail on the top of some of these posts just to keep cows from thinking about jumping over. But other than that, we're good to go for now. And we get to uh, keep on modifying our magnet sweeper picker upper thing, patent pending, probably not. Anyway, thanks guys for hanging out with me once again. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook where you can find a lot more behind the scenes from right here on our Wyoming Life.